Hi, and welcome to yet another combination command. In order to understand the 6 command, you need to be comfortable with both the A command and the 4 command, so if you haven't watched those episodes, I suggest you do so first. So, I'm loading the guitar sample, and I'm putting it in track number 3 like this. And I want this to vibrate, so I'll put the 4 command here with the depth of 7 and the rate of 2. And I'll keep it vibrating for a while. Let's hear it. And I want this note to fade out, so I'll use my A command like this. And I'll put a C00 here to make it quiet. And I want this to go slowly, so I'll use the A01 command. So let's hear it. Well, the fade out worked, but the vibrato didn't, because it's interrupted by the A command. So this is where we use the 6 command. And the 6 command has all the same parameters as the A command. So if you fade it in, you do it with 6 something 0, and if you fade it out, it's 6 0 something. Let's hear it again. Perfect. So to fade this out quicker, we can use the 603 command like this. But the vibrato won't change, so you can't change the vibrato rate or depth while fading out. Listen. Unless you put the 4 command somewhere in between here. So I'll put the 4 command here, change the current rate for this vibrato from 2 to 4. And I'll go down here to change it to 6. And I'll go down here to change it to 8. And let's fade this out a little slower this time. Listen. So, when this 4 command here is triggered, the note is not faded out. But I doubt anyone will take notice when played together with the rest of your awesome song. And this concludes this very short episode. In the next episode I will teach you how to break patterns, so thank you for tracking. Please comment and I'll see you in episode 11.